Hello again, everyone. I'm Philippe Kahn, and this is European Delivery Made Easy Season 2. Just wanted to give you a quick update on this Friday. We got a little package from FedEx yesterday from the European Delivery Department. And I always love getting this stuff. You too will get one once you do your own European delivery. But as you'll see, it's a neat little package. And my favorite part, this hasn't changed very much from last year. I'll have you know, at least from when I got mine last year. But my favorite part is you get these fantastic little BMW European delivery luggage tags. Yes, it's the small stuff that excites me, folks. In here also, you'll also get a guide to the Welt, a quick reference guide, as well as a, a neat little map of the public transportation in Germany, so in Munich, rather, so that you can get from the airport to your hotel to downtown Munich to the Welt. Um, but again, this is what you'll get from BMW. It's basically the first part which shows you that your European delivery adventure is becoming very real. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about my travel arrangements and hotel arrangements, because I know that weighs very heavily on folks, and I just want to give you a compare and contrast over my experiences last year to this year. Both times, uh, well, first of all, I should say that you know you get Lufthansa's two-for-one offer when you do a European delivery. You just have to call the special 800 number, give them your production number, and they'll give you two-for-one airfare. The catch, if I can call it that, is this. You have to pay full fare coach on that ticket. And on the second ticket, you do get to pay say, uh, taxes, airport taxes, fees, and light, and not licensing, airport taxes and fees on the second ticket. So it's about 1,300 bucks for the full fare ticket, 300 bucks in, ta in taxes and fees, 1,600 total, so it's about 800 to side. During peak season, that is a deal. At other times of the year, for example, when I went in May of last year, or you go with the shoulder seasons, not so much of a deal. I flew for about $550 last year in May. And if you go after peak season, say late September, October, around then, then you can also pick up fares which are similar to that. This time, I'll be there in August or late July, and I had to pay about $1,300. And since I'm traveling alone, I didn't go for the two-for-one ticket. I'll be meeting some friends and family over there, but flying over there, I'm going solo. So I just went on kayak.com and found the cheapest ticket I could, which came out to about 1280. What a difference just a few months makes. One, one other difference, well, before I get to the currency difference, I also want to talk about hotel arrangements. I didn't, I didn't make arrangements at the King's Hotel like I did last year. The King's is BMW European Delivery's preferred hotel provider, a fabulous hotel, and a great breakfast. And those of you who know me well know I'm a big fan of breakfast. But this time, I went for a little less expensive route. And since I know more about the lay of the land in Munich, I kind of know what part of town I wanted to stay in. So it wasn't so important I stay at the King's. And this time, I picked up a, uh, a hotel room at the Hotel Atlas. Again, I booked it through kayak.com. 50 euro for the one night that I'm going to be staying there. And it's basically in the city center. You guys will see once I get there. I didn't think it was a bad deal at all, and I snapped it up as quickly as I could find it. What's working distinctly in my favor this year, folks, and will work in, in your favor as well if you go probably within the next six months or so, is the rapidly declining euro. For a number of socioeconomic and global political reasons, the euro has been decreasing in value versus the dollar. When I was there in May, it was about a buck sixty, a buck sixty-two per euro. Now, as of last weekend, it was a buck nineteen per euro, and it looks like that's still going down. I don't know if by the time I get there, it'll be one to one, but eventually, it looks like that is the tr where the trend line is going, and obviously, that'll make your trip a whole lot more affordable overall. Um, that's about all I wanted to cover today. Just a short episode today, folks, talking about travel and currency. We shall see you next week. Have a fantastic weekend.